Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. In employing hygroscopic or thermal expanding technique for dental gold castings, one may invest the wax pattern using vacuum investing technique as you have been doing, or when one may use hand painting technique. Now we like to show you how the hand pen painting technique is done. In general, the principles are the same. You have to try to make the investment to adhere as close as possible to the, invest, uh, to the wax pattern so that your gold castings to come out smooth and to fit the invest, uh, to the die the way that you would like it to. As you know, the wax does not wet properly by the investment material, and its surface should be treated. Otherwise, the investment will not get close to this wax pattern. For that reason, the surface of this wax pattern should be treated. One way of treating it is using a curse debobilizer. In other words, by applying a debobilizer on the wax pattern, the wax is wetted much better and easier. The, the investment material will get closer to the wax pattern. Uh, using a regular camel hairbrush, one may put sufficient amount on this. And then one should try to remove all the excess, all the excess uh, debobilizer from the surface. Again, one way of doing it is just take a paper towel in your hand and dry your brush and go against the in the wax pattern, as I have I am doing here. Each time you go over it, dry the brush. You have to be sure that all the excess debobilizer is removed. Otherwise, instead of producing a smooth surface on your ca uh, casting, it will create a very rough surfaces on the casting due to the fact that it will have too much liquid or too much liquid phase around the wax pattern and your investment around the wax pattern will have a thinner water to powder ratio and uh, that will give you a poor surface as well as it may not expand sufficiently to give I think this wax pattern is dried. Now I will put it aside for a little while until it is completely dried. And meantime, I'll go ahead and uh, mix my investment. One way of making this investment, or one of the better is using hand mechanical spatulator. As you see, this hand mechanical spatulator, this will fit over this special rubber ball. And each time that I rotate this handle, this blade is going to turn three times, as you see it. So if I rotate this handle 50 times, this blade is going to turn 150 times. If I rotate it 100 times, the blade will turn 300 times. So in general, one should rotate about 60 to 70 times for a good mix of the investment. However, if in case I didn't have this hand mechanical mixer, I could use the ordinary rubber ball with the ordinary stiff spatula and mix it in this fashion. I'm going it really well so that just to be sure that the investment is well mixed. 
Now we go ahead and use this investment and mix it with the hand mechanical mixer. Please notice that it doesn't matter whether you are going to use a hygroscopic technique or you are going to use thermal expanding technique. This part only involves the investing portion of it. So that is instead of using a vacuum investing technique, now you are using hand painting technique. So you naturally, as usual, you would measure your amount of the water uh, depending on the investment that you are using. And you will pour your investment in here. Always investment is added to the water. And then you will go ahead and just wet all these particles first with using a regular spatula. Then you would use hand mechanical spatula and really mix this one about 60 to 70 times. I think the investment has been spatulated sufficiently. Now all this investment is around these bowls. So just like the vacuum investing, I will use a vibrator in order to bring all this investment down in here, accumulate it in one place. Okay. Now I will go ahead and what is known painting of the investment. Please be careful that even though the name is painting, it does not mean that you take the brush and start painting it as ordinary one recognize what the painting is. The point is that you should try to touch the surface of the uh, wax pattern as little as possible. So for the best time way of doing it, first you touch the sprue and then from there on try to push this investment as it goes through push the investment through this brush just as it goes through until all of this wax pattern is covered i would like to demonstrate that now and always put your hand on the vibrator as i am doing it now and then this gentle vibration the gentle vibration of the vibrator will help me that investment to get closer and closer and cover entire surface of this wax pattern. Now I believe entire surface of this wax pattern is covered with the investment. As you see it. Now this happens to be hygroscopic technique and I use hygroscopic equipment. I go ahead and put this metallic sleeve over the sprue former and then fill the rest of the ring. Also, you should notice that one should not just hold the ring in this fashion straight forward and fill it because you will trap some air. The best way of uh, filling the ring will be that you tilt this ring as much as you can and put the top of it on the vibrator, just like the way that I'm showing it. And then you fill it until it completely fills in this fashion and then try to straighten it up something like this until the entire ring is filled. This way, the chances of trapping air while you are investing is very little. Now close this 
power up the rubber ring in this fashion so that very small string of investment will go in and try to fill it. the pattern is completely covered that the ring is almost filling completely to the top with this angle then I, I should straighten it up to fill some more just like a vacuum investing you vibrate just for a little bit gentle vibration and then you will remove the sleeve in this particular case and make sure that it is all filled. From now on, it is exactly like your vacuum investing technique. You will go ahead and put the reservoir on it, add the necessary amount of water on top of it. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.